everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been forever since I've done a Q&A video. Actually, it's been two months, but feels like forever in my books. I thought it would be a really cool idea to do a Snapchat Q&A, and for those of you that don't know what a Snapchat Q&A is, I asked on my Instagram and Snapchat for you guys to send me in questions, but instead of asking them in a text or whatever. I wanted you guys to send in a video of you asking the question, that way I can hold the video up and you guys can see yourselves in a video and I thought that that would be pretty cool. I saw Brittany Lee Saunders do this and I thought it was such a good idea and such a better way to do a QA. and a I'm gonna try to answer as many of them as possible, so yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, my hair is blue. <laughs> so many of you, yay! Okay, this is Haley Eberth. I hope I'm saying names right because I'm terrible at that. Hey Tasha, I just woke up and I just wanted to tell you that you're so beautiful oh. and I love your YouTube channel. Oh my god, not a question, but I'll totally take it. Your hair is so gorgeous. Oh my god, I wish my bangs were that long. Oh my god, this is so cute, guys. I'm so excited. I get so happy when I get to see you. Oh my god, yay. Okay, next, um, this is Casey Letridge. Letridge, Letridge, Letridge. Hi, Tasha. I would like to know what your favorite store is. Your style is fantastic. Love you. Oh my god, guys, I love I love this. This is the best thing I have ever done. Oh my god, Casey. My favorite store, I don't know, it's almost non-existent because I just pick select things from certain places. Like for example, I like H&M, but I don't like everything H&M has. I maybe find one thing every now and again. I'm super into how Brandy Melville has like just the very plain-esque tops and things like that. But favorite store, it's hard. I do, I mean, I do a lot of thrifting, like a lot of Depop and a lot of Plato's Closet. And I like to find just select items that are gorgeous. So I hope that that answered it. It wasn't very good, but I tried. <laughs> this next one is from Chocolate247. When's your birthday? Is and is this going to be in your video? This going to be in my video. And my birthday is September 20th. So let's have a huge party and dye each other's hair. This next one is from Dark and Twisty. Hi, Tasha. I want to know what is one guilty pleasure you love too much to give up. Oh my god, big hair! Yeah, girl, your hair rules! Um, you know what? This is gonna be a lame answer, but I don't really have guilty pleasures in the sense that I just like what I like and I'm not necessarily embarrassed of anything that I do like. Um, maybe something that I like do way too much. I eat a lot of sweets and like it's my downfall and I can't give it up because I like after every meal I need something sweet like every time I eat real food I have to have something sweet. And I know it's probably why my weight fluctuates because I don't eat the healthiest but I just love like sweets and oh too much too much. This next one is from Meow Milk Kitty. Yeah, I want to say your hair looks gorgeous, and um, I was just wondering what some of your favorite bands are. Oh my god, you said Toronto, so that must mean you're from Toronto. Yeah, T.O. represent. I got so excited, I almost forget the questions. Okay, some of my favorite bands. So band-wise, we're not talking about artists. That's kind of what I think when people ask me what my favorite bands are. I'm a pop punk girl, like, through and through. I am a big fan of, like, Citizen and The Story So Far and Knuckle Puck. My best friend is in a band called Cold Front. They're amazing. I'm gonna put their links down below. So if you guys are into the whole pop punk thing like me, check out Cold Front. They're awesome, especially if you like the story so far, you'll like them. Lately, I've been on like a, the Drake and um, the Weeknd phase. I know that's not bands, but just a little side note, been really loving them. Also really into modern baseball. You guys also know that my favorite band on earth is Sea Haven, that's a given, I've said that a million times. Also another friend's band, my friend Adam is in a band called Seaway, they're from around here as well, so check them out, I'll put their links down below. Like I said, if you guys are into pop punk, check those bands out. This next one is from Skittle for Life. So my question is, do you like your current color, which I love to death? So everybody kind of knows that I just changed my hair color. Um, do I, lo I, I love pink. Pink will forever be my comfort zone that I always will feel 100% happy and confident with pink hair. Do I love this hair? Of course I do. I think it's gorgeous. I love any color pastel hair. I think they are just the most beautiful colors. Um, I love my pink more, <laughs> if that answers the question. But you know what, I've been pastel for like two years now and I've been pink for the majority of it and I was just super bored. And my favorite thing to do is film hair dye tutorials and I just haven't done any because I've been stuck in, in my pink hair. So this is kind of me just like 
saying, you know what, we're gonna do something cool, we're gonna do something fun, and that's it. This next one comes from Nikki3001. Hi, Tasha. What are some of your favorite foods you've ever eaten? Love you. Oh, I love you too. Uh, favorite foods I've ever eaten. Hmm. I am a big fan. Here's, okay. I love Mr. Sub, which I don't think Americans have it, it's Canadian. I love getting just like white bread sub with lettuce, mayo, and turkey on it. And like, that's it. And just, I love that. I know that's so boring and so gross. Most people are like, well, but mm, I love that girl. I also love making like dollar pancakes. If you don't know what dollar pancakes are, it is a pancake that is small. Once the one side is cooked, you flip it over and then you flatten it so it's like really flat. It's almost like a crepe, but tastes way better than a crepe. Um, and then I make like about 10 or 15 of them, depending on how hungry I am. And then I put raspberry syrup and strawberries and whipped cream and mm, girl. This next one is from Sophia. Hi, I love you and your videos first of all and my question for you is how do you get your inspiration to do your DIY and I just wanted to say that I love how you edit your videos and like your style of videos so yeah Oh my god, all the way from Sweden. Oh my god. Where do I find the inspiration for my DIYs? All of my DIYs are things that I want, to put it simply. Like everything that I make, that flower crown, that bra, I wore both of them. Um, the jewelry holders, they're hanging up on my wall right now. Like everything that I make is something that I want. Um, and half of the stuff is stuff that I want but don't want to pay $100 to buy so I just make it myself and that's basically where the inspiration comes and thank you for all of your kind words Sophia and sending all my love from Canada to Sweden oh snapchat like opened a ton of them oh what I haven't even seen these and they're all open oh my god that sucks Break. sorry guys okay this next one comes from M Daco Tasha, I love you um what's your favorite hair color you've done so far since you've been dying. My favorite hair color, um, can I say pink? Because it's probably pink. I love my pink hair, but you know what? This looks rad, I'm feeling this, like, so I don't know, this is a close second. This next one is from FlowPat99. Where do you see yourself in 10, that's five, 10 years? Many Where do I see myself in 10 years? I see myself married. 10 years, I'll be 34, maybe starting a family. Business-wise, I see myself with my own business. I have a lot of things in the works, like coming up, things that I wanna start on my own. Living the good life with um, probably like 30 puppies. Two boos for the rest of my life. They would kind of be like the other things I answered, those crepes and that sub. Next one comes from Nicole99. Hi Tasha, uh, my question is what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand and what is your favorite high-end makeup brand? Oh my god, your hair is so cute. You guys are all so cute. It kills me. So my favorite high-end is this is hard. I pull certain things, like I like some dip foundations, but I don't like some eyeshadows, so it kind of all changes. But I'm gonna go with drugstore. Drugstore, I've been really liking Maybelline lately, but um, also because L'Oreal makes my foundation, L'Oreal. <laughs> like my makeup is such a mix of high end and drugstore. I don't know, I can't even answer this question. All of my makeup isn't one brand. Like everything I own is a different brand. So I don't know, I'm sorry, it's a really hard question. Next one comes from Queen Sarita. What is good for makeup? Girl, you don't need makeup, you gorgeous. But if you want to start wearing makeup, I would say leave your skin alone and go for like eyes and do something to make your eyes pop or put like a lip gloss on or something. Because if you have good skin, don't mess with that. And you know what? I wear these like half eyelashes. Like you guys know that I don't wear like a lot of like um, eyeshadow and stuff like that. I wear these like eyelashes that I cut in half and then they just add this like nice flare to the end of my eye. It takes two seconds to put on. I get them at Walmart five for 13 bucks. Um, so you could try something like that because it adds a lot of like drama and definition. Next one comes from Alex Gnarly. Hey Tasha, you got me into the band Sea Haven and I've seen them in two weeks. So I was just wondering, have you ever met them? I have seen Sea Haven so many times. Like I want to say I've seen Sea Haven about eight times. I think I'm seeing them very soon as well. I'm not crazy into like meeting 
bands, so to speak. Like, I'm more so like, I just enjoy their music from afar. Like, I saw them at the funeral home in Buffalo, New York, and that was a tiny, tiny venue, and like, they were just hanging out. So, I've never actually like, met them or talked to them. I mean, I could if I wanted to, I guess, but more so just enjoying the music, you know? And I'm so happy you got into them. Okay, this next one is from Cass Swerve. This is my friend Ethan, so let's see what this one's all about. What's your favorite type of toothpaste? Mm -hmm. Whoa, I hate you. Well, we actually just bought toothpaste, I will have you know, and we get the crest, like, diamond, white, fancy-ass stuff, okay? That, that answers your question? Okay. This next one comes from Brittany M. Who? <laughs> Guys, my favorite movie is The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan because I'm a big Lindsay Lohan with red hair fan. Yeah. Next question comes from Katie Cargo. What color would you never dye your hair? I would never dye my hair red because, like, fire engine red, I just. I can't wear red because I think I look terrible in red, so I just don't see myself making my hair red. Next one comes from Maria Dares. Girl, I'll check out your YouTube. Go check my fridge. Cherries, grapes, butter toffee nuts, cherries, grapes, and strawberries. Like literally just cut strawberries up and just snack. Like I am a big fruit fanatic. Next one comes from You're a Whale. Oh my god, you a babe, girl, you a babe! And you're listening to The Weeknd, and I was just listening to The Weeknd, so we the same. When am I coming to LA? Like, can I come now? Because I want to go to LA so bad, you guys. Like, I would love that, and like, we could do a huge meetup, and that would be so cool. And, um, one day, one day I will come to LA, I promise. How many of you live in LA? Like, could we have a big hangout? Could we just go swim in the ocean, and like, get saltwater beach wave hair? Because I would love that. This one is a picture from Michelle Cosgrove. And it says, miss you from Florida. I miss you too. Okay, that's it. This video is gonna be so long. I'm really sorry if Snapchat opened some of your questions and I didn't get to answer them. I'm really sorry. I legit don't know. I know that that happened to Brittany Lee Saunders too when I watched hers. Um, I don't know why that happens. Ugh. Next time, I know, so I will just sit down and tell you guys to send them and then film at the exact same time. But thank you so much to everyone that sent all their questions in. I love you guys so much. This was super fun and I can't wait to do this again with you guys because I loved it. And I love seeing your pretty faces. You guys like make my day. You have no idea. And also we just hit 160k. Woo! Let me know if you guys would like a hair tutorial on this hair color because I did film it so I can totally put that up for you guys. And um, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!